Docomo has developed in step with the evolution of mobile communications networks. Let's take a look at this history and the evolution of Docomo. In Japan, mobile phones debuted in 1979 as an analog service providing voice communication. This ushered in a new era of communications, where people could talk to each other at any time and in any place. Docomo was established in 1992. In 1993, we introduced digital systems to realize higher quality voice service. Thus marked the beginning of the transition from voice to data communications. Docomo launched iMode mobile internet service in 1999. Featuring email, games and other services, iMode introduced people to a whole new communications culture. Then, in 2001, Docomo launched the world's first 3G, or third generation, WCDMA network service under the brand name of FOMA. This enabled people to enjoy new multimedia services such as video telephony. In 2006, we launched FOMA High Speed Service, an upgrade of the WCDMA system, with HSDPA technology providing higher transmission rates. And today, Docomo continues mobile communications development with the aim of providing higher transmission speeds and a comfortable communications environment. The future envisioned by Docomo involves real stress-free mobile communications. With this goal in mind, Docomo is engaged in the research and development of long-term evolution, LTE, a high capacity and high transmission speed mobile communication system. LTE is a further evolution of HSPA, which is the high data rate specification of 3G WCDMA. Using the current 3G spectrum, as well as those to be newly allocated for 3G use, LTE represents a major system enhancement, enabling high-speed radio transmission of over 100 megabits per second for the downlink and over 50 megabits per second for the uplink. This system also improves latency and spectrum efficiency. And these preparations will also pave the way for the smooth introduction of fourth generation 4G IMT advanced mobile communication systems, aiming for ultra high speed transmission services of more than one gigabit per second. Among the main features of LTE are a dramatic enhancement in data transmission rates and spectrum efficiency. The targets for peak data rates are approximately 300 megabits per second in the downlink and 75 megabits per second in the uplink. To achieve this, a frequency bandwidth of up to 20 megahertz is assumed. For user throughput and spectrum efficiency, challenging targets of two to four times HSPA values have been set. Another important characteristic is reduction of latency. For both the control delay that affects the call setup time before the start of communications and the transmission delay that appears in the data transfer speed, the aim is low latency that is no worse than that of fixed lines. In step with the status of LTE standardization, Docomo constructed an experimental LTE base station to evaluate high-speed radio transmission performance and began demonstrative experiments in July 2007. Lab experiments achieved high data transmission rates of over 200 megabits per second with simultaneous streaming transmission of 12 full high-definition videos and interactive real-time high-quality visuals. Field experiments were also started in February 2008. Using a frequency bandwidth of 20 MHz and employing a maximum of four antennas for the base station transmission and mobile terminal reception, packet transmission of over 250 megabits per second for the downlink was realized. Docomo is simultaneously developing commercial equipment.
Providing valuable services efficiently and ahead of the times, Docomo continues to contribute to the steadfast evolution of high-speed and comfortable mobile communications environments.